right. Hello, guys. <sighs> I'm having a bit of an anxiety attack today, and I need to distract myself. So, I'm going to make a project. And that project is going to start with this tiny little round mold that I got from BB Craft and some UV resin. Um, essentially, what I'm making is a shell uh, because I want to make this into sort of like a little snow globe type thing. So I'm going to put in not a ton, but you know, a little bit, probably two mil from the bottom um, of the mold and just start spinning it around to coat the mold with that UV resin as best I can. And I will probably be speeding a lot of this up because there are some parts that are just, frankly, just quite boring. <laughs> um, so I want to get the inside coated really well, and I wish you could see it better, but, you know, lighting. Let's try to turn the spotlight off and see if that helps a little bit. So just slowly going around. This is one of those things you got to be patient for. I know, I know, I know. Patience, what? We don't know her here. But unfortunately, I do have to be patient with it. And plus, spinning it around like this also helps with getting any bubbles that may be in there out. If you keep moving it around. And if it's not coating all the way, just add a little bit more UV until it covers the whole thing. The good thing about using the clear molds is you can see through them to see what you've covered and what you haven't. Now I am going to get, pardon my coffee, a high-tech mess mitigation device here and put it over the hole so I can kind of get the edges a little bit better without getting my hands messy. And I know everybody's going to say, why don't you wear gloves? Well, because I can't right now. My hands are doing that um, asleep thing again. And if I have gloves on, it's harder for me to feel what I'm doing. So, don't at me in the comments. I do see a couple of little stubborn bubbles in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of maneuver those out. All right. And I think we've got a pretty good coating. So what I have over here is my low powered UV light and I want to start I don't want to use my big heavy one because I want to kind of start it from a distance so I get that slow cure so it doesn't cure it all immediately because I want to try to keep the um, the bubbles out and keep it as uniform thickness as possible so that's why I'm slowly introducing the UV light to it. Okay. 
so now that that's cured, you can feel that it's very rigid. So let's get it out. And I am very careful about getting these out because it is just a shell. It's not solid, so I want to be real careful with it. But thankfully, these molds are super flexible. So it's pretty easy. And ta da! Did get a bubble, don't care really, uh, because it's going to be filled with stuff. So turn my mold right side out. You can see, just made a little bowl. Everybody say hi to Captain Critter! He's waving. So now what we can do is fill this with our filling of choice. Okay, so since it kind of has a little raggedy edge on it and I want to make sure that it's flat so we can put our cap on there, I'm just going to, this is just a nail file, standard everyday nail file. So there we go. Nice little flat edge. Now, one thing that you'll notice is round and <laughs> it doesn't really want to hold still. So you can use a mold to put it in place, uh, just stick it on the top. I actually use my 30 by 40 millimeter um, cabochon mold that I made because it fits in there perfectly. It doesn't move around a lot. So there you go. Now what I have here are little caviar beads that I got from BB Craft and we're doing red, white, and green. And the reason why is because this is my project for the Christmas in July collaboration with Mini Scenes GB and uh, Crafty YouTubers United. And red, green, and white are appropriate for Christmas in July. So what I'm doing is just taking a little scoop and a little silicone spoon and just putting some of these little caviar beads in there in each color. Not a whole bunch. Is adding some iridescent glitter. Uh, this is a mix of fine iridescent and some chunky and uh, just opalescent colors. I think I used opalescent green, blue, yellow, and pink when I made this mix. And uh, just give it some sp sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay. And now that we've got those in there, excuse me, I had to grab something off of my floor that was sitting next to me. And what I have here is a bottle of Walmart's finest mineral oil. Lubricant laxative. So just in case your resin projects have too much cheese, mineral oil to the rescue. Lube them right up. So I've got a little um, snot sucker. Uh, I can't even remember what they're called. If you're a parent, you know what I mean when I say snot sucker. Uh, and I'm just going to put in tiny little air bubbles at the top. Uh, give the things that are on the inside uh, more range of movement. So, 
bubbles don't bother me at the top. Bubbles are people too. <laughs> or something. So I'm just going to get out the little air bubbles as best I can. There we go. And take the snot sucker and clean it out. I'll squeeze the rest of that oil out. And then the top. So what I have is a very thin piece of um, acrylic, you know, clear acrylic. And I am going to try my best to get as close to the size that I need. Essentially, what we're doing is sealing it up. It would help if I wouldn't drop it. So, I kind of want to get a rough idea as to where I want it. So I know where to put the resin. And I'm just going to give it a healthy lip. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is pick this up very carefully, put it on top of my project, and nuke it immediately. Okay. Now. Me, I'm a safety girl. Nah, Jen. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this with some super glue. Okay. And I am going to give this a healthy coating. to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. Mineral oil all over my hands. <laughs> Slimy! So we're going to let that dry, and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I have four ounces of my Resiner's 1 to 1 epoxy and my resplendent magic uh, mica powder which uh, is very similar to the um, I believe it's unicone art uh, crystal stuff diamond crystal diamond dust diamond glitter diamond gallus page I don't know uh, but it's very similar to that so I'm just putting in a little bit because I want it sparkly, but not overwhelming. We're going for snow. I'm going to get that stirred in real well. And the Respondent Magic came in my uh, Chameleon Powder set that I got that is down in the description box. I really like it a lot. It's very, it's subtly sparkly. So. Like me, subtly sparkly yet oddly appealing. good. You can kind of see the sparkle, 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 sheen, sparkle, sparkle. Alrighty, so I have 
the bottom halves of two circle molds here, um, the large and the medium that came from the set uh, from BB Craft, and I am not going to fill them up all the way. This one I'm not going to fill up all the way. This one I am. Uh, okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because once that gets tacky, I'm going to put in our uh, sparkle ball. And some of the caviar beads are sticking to the top just because, you know, they're just sticking there. Uh, glitter does it. So, you can see, sparkly. And in case you didn't know, you see this? Um, I'm going to take care of that before I put it in there. But, with the super glue, the main ingredient in super glue accelerator is alcohol. So if you have a project that has super glue on it that you want to um, cure faster, the super glue itself, um, alcohol. Just don't get too close to it, otherwise it'll do this uh, foamy thing. Uh, this, this was my fault, um, but I'm just going to sand this off anyway. Uh, but yeah, so top tip. And then what we're going to do is our little mold that we made our sphere in. I'm going to put some resin in that as well. Fill that little guy up. Almost all the way, but not completely, because I want them to have uh, I want him to have a flat thing because this is going to be the head. Can you guess what I'm making? Uh, so, there we have that. And that took, those three things took a little over an ounce. Now, I could fill this up a little bit more. Actually, I think I might. Uh, just to make sure that when we put our snow globe in there that it's as close to the middle as possible. Okay, so this is tacky enough for me to be able to set the snow globe in um, without it sinking, which is good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just wiping off any fingerprints. Little base. So now we will have a fancy cabochon necklace with a skull in it that we will decorate at a later time. And yeah, see what I'm talking about how it moves? So now we can make sure that it won't move as it's cured. Smart. <laughs> Look at that. Woo. It's swimming. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch, actually. It's entertainment. So, I'll get some sticks and prop this up so we can uh, make sure that it doesn't travel. Hold still, little deuter. It's the problem with working with the uh, round things. They like to move. Nope. 
can see if we had poured the whole thing with the top half on it, we wouldn't be able to do this. So, there we go. Ta-da! Alrighty. See you soon. Okie doke. It is time to do everything. Next steps. Four ounces of my Resiners 1 to 1 with the Resplendent Magic. I'm going to go ahead and put the cap on this little guy. So, now it's pouring time and it's pouring big cup into tiny hole. So, <clears throat> to give myself a little more space, I'm going to back you up a little bit. Move my grocery list out of the way because I'm sure that you're not interested in that in the least. And then very carefully. I know you can't see much, but hey, there ain't much happening. I'm pouring resin in a sphere. bit over, but not bad. And that took two ounces. And we're back. Time to get these little doodlers out. So let's start with the little one. Much like last time, only it's solid. <laughs> So, you can see that resplendent magic. Sparkly, sparkles, sparkles, sparkles in there. Love it. Alright, so now we'll go for the middle guy. like I'm going to have some trimming around his tummy. But that's okay. Come on. Let go. There you go. Just got to find a chink in the armor. There we go. Mmm, he looks like a planet. Yeah, see, around the middle. I'm going to have to do a little bit of trimming, but that's not a big deal at all. That's just, that'll just very easily just, I mean, you can see it just comes off. So... I'm not going to worry about that. Again, the sparkle. Uh. Ooh. Ah. And then the big duder. Very cool. Ah, look at that! Again, a little bit of trimming, not a big deal. Just peels right off. But there's our little guy in the middle. Focus. There we go. Shake it up. Oh, that 
looks so awesome. Yay! So I'm pleased with that. I think that actually looks really cool. So I'm going to do some cleanup on these guys, and then, and then, we will be back. All right, it is time for next steps. So what you can see that I've done off camera, because who wants to watch me sanding, is I sanded the bottom half of each of the balls um, just to make it milky. And um, so now we are going to decorate the face. And I'm just going to use my little cabochon mold here to hold the ball in place so it doesn't roll around because it's round. And I've got uh, three UV resin colors here. I've got black, orange, and white. And my little UV light. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make a nose. So I'm going to go ahead and get my UV light on. So if you're sensitive to UV lights, you can skip this part or whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to... Because I can't really edit it out because it's part of the process. A little plastic container here. I'm going to try an experiment. If you're used to my projects, you know that I like making 3D things or uh, just little accent pieces on my projects. It's like with the, uh, the flying pig, you know, the little sunglasses, or aviator goggles that he was wearing. head back over here. I'm going to take a little dot of orange on the end. a little bit questionable, but we can fix the shape. Right. Take a pair of scissors. That's all I'm going to put on his head. Alright, so next we're going to go in the black. Now, this 
got his little buttons. He's got his little head. So actually, I'm going to use my clear instead of the white. Pivot. Go around the base. Bring up a little head. Little on. Okay, so now we've got his little nose. All right, so we're going to let all that do its thing for a little bit. I'm going to end the lamp for a few more minutes, and then I'll see you back for next steps. Okay, so he's all cured up. We've got his nose all done. We've got his buttons. We've got his little globe in the middle. And all he needs now is a scarf. So, this is just a piece of uh, you know, fabric that I trimmed off of another piece of fabric, and uh, I'm just going to pull the little strings off the edge to give it a frayed look. There you have it. A cute, simple, little Christmas project. Nothing fancy, but he's adorable. Simple decoration, big impact. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here. Please don't forget to hit the playlist at the end. Uh, and go check out all of the other amazing crafters that are part of this uh, part of this collaboration, and make sure that you give everybody a like, subscribe to them if you haven't already, and uh, thank you guys again. I really appreciate all of your love and support, and hopefully, I will see you again for the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.